In a recent interview with Xinhua, Eric Solheim, former Under Secretary General of the United Nations and former Executive Director of the United Nations Environment Program, praised China's achievements in environmental protection. Solheim noted that East China's Zhejiang Province is a shining example of how China has waged war on pollution in the last ten years. The Green Rural Revival Program in Zhejiang, which aims to transform the once heavily polluted waterways and improve the environment of villages, won the United Nations' highest environmental honor in 2018. There's been a complete turnaround in China from a very polluting growth path, and until today we see China leading the world basically on every green technology. And the rural electrification in, in Shenzhen is a great example of that. Europe has done a lot of the same along the Rhine or along the Danube or some of the or the Seine in Europe, but it has taken much much longer time. So the speed here was absolutely remarkable. I think everyone in the world know that China is now in the lead on technology like solar power or, or electric trains or whatever it may be, but people are not so much aware of the enormous progress in Chinese uh, um, protection of nature. Uh, China has now embarked upon one of the biggest na uh, national park programs in the world. China has a 10-year fishing ban in the Yangtze. That's a huge effort with short-term pain, but enormous long-term gain. You see now dolphins coming back in the Yangtze because of the, the the fishing ban. And China is by far the number one tree planter in the world.、Uh, it's not my、uh, observation. It's the NASA, the American Space Agency, who said that no, number one reason why the world is going the planet, the surface of the planet is greener, is tree planting in China. In places like Kobuchin in the Mongolia, Sayamba, as you mentioned in in Hebei Province,、uh, and many others. And China has first class also. Uh, experience to showcase from the protection of the giant pandas in Sichuan and the snow leopards in the western part of China to the borders of Central Asia.